doors creak and the tombstones quake. Spooks come out for a swinging wake. One of Disneyland's most iconic attractions has returned to the silver screen, and this time there's not a single Eddie Murphy in sight. While I haven't seen that misfire of film, I can assure you that this second effort is more successful in being a ploughed creasing effort. The spooky atmosphere is nicely handled in a way that, while still nice and eerie, probably won't be too much for any older kid wanting to see this. The cast are doing a good job with their parts, with Owen Wilson and Danny DeVito handling the brunt of the comedy, and Lakeith Stanfield's protagonist providing a decent exploration of grief. Plus, I'm sure there's a ton of neat little nods to the ride, and there was one moment that garnered a laugh from me because I thought it was a nice touch. However, there are some issues. While I found the humour to be fine, and there were audible laughs in my screening, it may not be to everyone's tastes, and some could feel that it undercuts some more dramatic moments. Plus, while the hatbox ghost is fine as a villain, Having Jared Leto play him felt strange to me, because the role is just motion capture and a deep voice, which could have been done by anyone. There was also one twist that was so predictable I was surprised there was meant to be a twist in the first place. Also, I spent the whole film worrying that they were repeating the 2003 movie's biggest mistake, sacrificing the fun of the ride in order to deliver a generic ghost story, and only got proven wrong in the very last scene. Regardless of all that, Haunted Mansion is a decent spooky flick the whole family can watch together, and it is a far superior cinematic representation of the beloved ride than what we got before.